Okay, today we are gonna be trying to experimentally figure out the molar mass of butane gas, and we're gonna do that by using an old Bic lighter. And so there's a few things you need to do to set up before we get started. Um, the first thing you're gonna need is a trough of water or just a big bucket of water, about two thirds full. It can be tap water, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're just gonna use that to submerge and to do a few things. It's not actually for reacting in the experiment. Uh, we are also going to need a temperature pressure and a pressure sensor for this experiment. So I'm gonna snap those into my lab quest. And that'll give us a temperature before and after and the pressure throughout the lab as well. We also are gonna to need to get the mass before and after the experiment, but what we're gonna do before I mass it is I'm going to get it wet, submerge it for just a minute. Throughout this experiment, we're actually gonna have the butane lighter underneath the water. And so it's gonna be a little bit wet at the end. And if it was dry at the beginning and wet at the end, we would have some uh, difficulties with our calculations later. So just dip it in the water, get it wet, and then dry it off as much as possible. And so this way we know that if the mass changes, it was because butane left the lighter, not because we accidentally uh, had some issues with water. So let's get the mass of our butane lighter. 14.773 grams is what we're gonna record for our mass of our butane lighter at the beginning of this lab. And now the only other thing we've gotta do is get the probe we're actually set up. We put the temperature probe in the water, so it'll give us an accurate reading of the temperature throughout. The pressure sensor, this is a gas pressure sensor, so we don't wanna put it in the water, we just leave it out here. It'll tell us the pressure in the room. And then we also are going to need to fill up our udiometer tube. Just a minute. So to fill the udiometer tube, just with any tap water is fine. And we're gonna fill it up like all the way full, not to the 50 milliliter mark. Maybe even spilling over a little at the top. We want it to be completely full of water. And the idea here is if you were ever a kid and you play with the straw in the restaurant where you take your thumb off and on the, the straw that was in your drink, this is the same idea. I'm gonna put my thumb on this, invert it, and put it in the tub of water. And now that my thumb is off of it, the tube stays full of water, just like the, your drink stayed in your straw when you were a kid. So now what's gonna happen is when I start to release butane, butane is a gas, this is full of water, and we'll see a really distinct line between where the liquid water ends and the gaseous butane begins. And that's how we get a really good volume reading. So now we're ready to go. We've got our mass, everything else is set up. Now you're just gonna take your lighter, line it up underneath your udiometer tube, press the button and start collecting. And what you're gonna see is some bubbles, some bubbles rising up in the udiometer tube. And now it's just a matter of having some patience because we need to fill this tube up until it's almost at the 50 milliliter mark. It's gonna take a while. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop here a little bit shy of the 50 milliliter mark. You can stop before the 50 milliliter mark. If you let it go past the 50, you'd have to start all over again and nobody has the time or patience for that. Um, so now all we need to do is get a volume reading. Now this udiometer tube, if you've never used one before, it works kind of like a graduated cylinder, except obviously it's a lot longer and skinnier. And the reason for that is instead of only having a mark every one milliliter, there is a mark every 10th of a milliliter. So it allows our volume readings to be a whole lot more precise. So the volume of the gas we have in the tube is about 48.25 milliliters. So 48.25 milliliters is the volume of gas we collected here. And so now that we've got that volume reading, we don't need the udiometer tube anymore. We can pick it up, let that last bit of liquid run out and set it off to the side. Now we need to get our lighter out of the water and dry it off not just on the outside, just make sure you've tapped it off. Anything on the inside is dry as well. Okay. 
14.680 is our mass at the end, and that is slightly less mass than was in it at the beginning, which makes sense. If your mass ever goes up, you probably didn't dry it off adequately. The last two things we need are these electronic measurements. So we've got a temperature reading of 24.8 degrees Celsius and a pressure reading in the room of 101.60 kPa or kilopascals. So since we're going to use the ideal gas law for this equation, um, we've got mass, which we can deal with in terms of moles. We've got a pressure, we've got a temperature, and we've got a volume. The only other thing we need to pull up is our water vapor pressure. And so the idea there is, yes, we collected butane gas in the tube, but because the bubbles were going up through the water, there were a couple of water molecules, a couple of H2O molecules that evaporated and were inside this tube as well. And so anytime you collect a gas over water, you wanna make sure you adjust for that. And so because the water temperature was 24.8 degrees Celsius, we are going to use the water vapor pressure that was closest to that, so 25 degrees Celsius which means we will record that the water vapor pressure in this tube was 23.8 millimeters of mercury. Now we can use that to adjust our pressure before we start doing all of our math, and we have everything we need to calculate the molar mass of butane.